This is a portable RGB fill light that fits into your pocket. This light is very amazing and can be used in various scenarios. Stick around and let me tell you more about this light. What's up Charlie? My name is Kwekwai and this is Ghana Near Photography. If you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe and like this video. This is the WeLight SO3 from Viltrox. It's an RGB pocket fill light. It's very small and can fit into your pocket. This light can be used under various scenarios. For instance, this video you're watching, I have one over here and one over here. The amazing thing is you can control this light via an app on your mobile phone. I'll demonstrate how to control your lights via the mobile app shortly. This light can be used for photography, as in portraits, product photography, videography, especially those of you who shoot weddings or events. You can just mount this light on your camera and you're good to go. It's bright enough to give you extra light you need when filming. You can use them in your photo studio as well as fill light or even main light if you stack them together. Let's go through the box and see what's in there. So first of all, we open the box. I already have the light out, which is over here. Aside the light, we have a mount, which you put under your light and then put on your camera. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a hole under for a tripod to mount on a light stand. Then we have a type C cable for charging. We also have a manual. To control this light, you need to install the WeLight mobile app. I have it on my iPhone here. So currently they are both turned on. So let me turn them off from here. See, I've turned both lights off from the app on. Now we have group A, B, C, D, E and F. So you can assign each light to a group and control it separately. Now, the one on my right, the one with the teal, it's in, it's on group B. So if I turn it off here, see, it's off, on, it's on. The red one on my left, it's on group A. So if I turn group A off here, it goes off, turn it back on and it's on. Now I can change the color over here. So you see it's on red. If I move it to any color, it changes. So let's take it back to red. And you can change the intensity. So this is low all the way to up. And then we increase it higher. Now to go back, we tap on this square thing down here. And it takes us back here. There are various functions in this app. You can use this to change it. So this gives you your red and you can do a whole lot of things here so let's go back to hsl i want to keep it here um let's see let's increase it all the way here and the same thing for b you select b and then go to hsl you can change what appears over there see just go around, slide it, and you're good to go. Same way, you can change the intensity as well. And there are other, other interesting stuff here. So you see, it's pulsing. See, you can change it here. This is burst. This is flash lamp. Blink. Weld. SOS. Candlelight. Flame and a whole lot of things that can happen in here. So let's go back to our HSL like that. And then group A, HSL like that. So we are back to our normal lights. Now let's take a look at how the light itself looks like. So let me bring this one here. So this is what it looks like. If you look behind it, this is it. And if you go around it, um, we have the light itself has only one switch up here. It's the on and off switch. Then there is the type C connector here for charging. And then when we look at the bottom, it has just this part. This is where you put the mount so you can place it on your 
camera. That's all there is to this light. So once you turn it on, it stays at one point. So you need to use the app to be able to control it. So let's go into the app. If we just turn this particular one off, you see how it is. This light is four watts. So it will be unfair to compare it to like a real video light or a real LED. And this is just a pocket light. I'll recommend this light anytime because it's been helpful to me i've had it for some time now and this is what i use for my background colors let's say i place this here behind the ipad and you don't even see it you see just the colors over here and my videos are now popping just because i got this light by the way we light sent me these lights free of charge and this review is not influenced by we like this is an honest review i have used these lights myself and out of the result out of what i have seen i am making this video for you guys to also see and then get one if you need i'll include an affiliate link in the description if you use that link to purchase one you get a 10 percent discount so why not there are a few things I would want improved on this light. First of all, there's no easy way you can tell the battery level. There's no indicator on the light to tell you if, uh, to readily tell you at any moment what your percentage is. You see, there's no screen or nothing. The only thing is a small hole there that blinks as you use your battery and it has a place in the manual that shows you the, what the blinking means. I think that's not um, something we always want to go back to. So if there can be um, a percentage indicator on the light itself or on the app so that by just looking at the app you know you have maybe 75% or 60% left. The other thing is the connection to the app it's not that easy you know it took me some struggling at first to be able to get used to it. even now sometimes i get it wrong then i have to restart again before i can get multiple lights connected so if it can be made easier for you to be able to connect to the lights from the app that would be a plus the last thing i would want improved is if this light can have maybe a magnetic effect behind so that you'll be able to just clip it on uh, met metallic surfaces. That way you won't have to get um, a different attachment to be able to attach it to something. Let's say now if I want it to come from up somewhere here, I would have to get a stand or something to put it on. But if there is a magnetic um, field behind it, I'll be able to just put a, a, a metallic plate up there and then just attach it to it and voila by the way this is the first rgb light i'm using in these scenarios and i'm so happy with it and i'll recommend it anytime that you can go ahead and get one for yourself i hope this review has been helpful to you and will guide you in your quest to get a pocket rgb light thank you for watching